Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today um, I'm gonna do a Matalan try on haul for you guys. So I had a couple of messages because Matalan have bought out a new um, kind of spring summer TV advert and I think it's got Lydia Bright and Denise Van Outen, I think is in the advert. So quite a few of you messaged me and said, um, that you would like to see how the clothes actually fit. So I have done an online order with Matalan and I will admit this is the first ever time that I've shopped with Matalan ever. So this is gonna be a kind of first impression for me as well as you guys. So I'm just gonna crack on with it. All of it's kind of summery holiday gear. Um, and first one I've got on already Okay, so this is a kind of beachy wraparound kimono dress. Um, it's in a kind of grey and black leopard print, which I am loving. For those of you um, who haven't already seen my videos, I tend to wear a lot of black and white and greys and things like that. And I try and be adventurous and wear colour, but I always tend to go back to the kind of greys. Um, so for me, this is perfect because animal tr print is still in. Um, but to have a grey version, I think this is way more versatile. So it's got these really cute, um, I don't know what you'd call those, kind of little flary sleeves. The dress is a wrap around one. Um, so it's a ballerina kind of wrap through ties. Oh, I'll try and get it all in. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but the bottom has this kind of flare on it and it kind of flicks out. But honestly, this is so freaking comfortable. And I love this kind of dress because you could wear this down the beach with sandals. It's good to chuck on over a swimsuit bikini, or you could wear it out in the evening and wear it with heeled boots or heels, whatever it may be. So I am in love with this because it is so versatile and comfortable. So it's called the Leopard Print Frill Maxi Kimono. Um, I got a large, it's quite generous. I've cinched it in quite tight. I probably could have gotten away with a medium but I don't think a la large is a bad thing um, and also for the bigger boobed people you'll know this is the bane of my life but it covers everything and it's fully covered. So yeah I got it in a large um, and it's only £16. I'd say that is such good pricing. The fabric's kind of it's quite thin and I think it's called like crepey I don't know but so it's that kind of beachy vibe but it's really nice. Right, so next up I've got a top and a skirt on, which I wouldn't wear these together, but I thought I'd just put them on together just to show you guys. So I've got this blouse on. Um, it's the button front peplum blouse um, in a size 14, and it's 14 pounds. Um, it is really, really nice. It's got these little kind of tie details. That one's come undone, that's better. Tie details on the arms. It basically buttons down until here where you've got this peplum flare. My only issue with it is that it's quite straight cut. So for me, it's way too tight on my boobs. And then this bit is obviously, so for my kind of figure, I don't think it's really doing me any favors. Where if it was more fitted like that, it would just be more flattering. So, it's gaping quite a lot on the boobs because it's just a tad too tight. And then this bit's just too big. So it's quite straight cut. So if you want more of a kind of flowy peplum top, then it's good. But I prefer just more of a kind of fitted. It just suits me more basically. But quality wise, not too bad. It's not see-through. And then the skirt I've got on is, it's basically just a jersey maxi skirt. You walk back a bit. So lengthwise it's great, it's hitting me just on the ankle. It's sort of like a high-waisted vibe. And then it has slits that go up the side of the legs. So I really like that because it makes it easier to walk in and yeah, it just gives you a little bit more leg out. Otherwise you can just look a little blocky. The color on it's really nice as well. It's a really nice olivey kind of green. So I got this in a size 16 and it was 10 pounds, so very cheap for the skirt. It's fitting the model very, very differently to how it fits me. I feel like on the model, it's kind of 
more of a triangle shape where on me it's kind of going in and out. I think I prefer that anyway, but yeah, it just looks slightly different to online, but the quality is really good anyway. I also got these really cute sandals. So these are the animal print cross strap flat mule sandals. Um, I got them in a size seven and they're eight pounds. So really, really affordable summer shoes. Just give you a closer look at the print. So it's that really nice, I don't even, it's not quite an animal print, but it's really nice. I did these in a few different colors, um, but I got these because I thought they were a lot more versatile. I'd be able to wear them with a lot. I've got quite wide feet and they fit me perfectly. So maybe if you have narrow feet, they might slip off a little bit. Yeah, size seven, I'd say they're completely true to size, but they're just really cute for eight pounds. I mean, that's the kind of pricing you'd expect from Primark, but I'd say these are nicer than kind of Primark quality. Um, the only thing is the soles are very, very thin. So you're likely to wear through those quite quickly um, and it's not gonna give you much padding when you're walking around. But for a summer sandal, eight quid, I thought those were really nice. Okay, so I've got a pair of summery trousers on. I'm just gonna bring the camera down so you guys can see. Okay, so these are just basically really nice thin drawstring summery trousers. So they're called the tapered trousers in khaki. I got them in a 16 and they're only 10 pounds. So the fabric is really, really nice and thin. They're kind of sweatpant design where they have a elasticated waistband with this little tight detail there. They're a bit tight on my bum. I wish they were a bit more kind of roomy. Lengthwise, yeah, perfect kind of length. I'm five foot seven, they're hitting me on my ankle. So obviously if you're a little bit shorter, you could, op you could really easily just roll the bottoms up and they'd still look good. But those are really nice just to have to go on holiday with. They're so thin, they're gonna be nice and cool. Again, you can dress them up, dress them down, whatever really. And they are only 12 pounds, so you can't go that wrong. Okay, so I've moved back on to tops and this is pretty cool. So this is a three quarter length sleeve, like a print top, it has this really nice kind of tie detailing on the arms there. Um, it's a really good length. It kind of covers like the back of your bum a little bit. It has this slit detailing here. So be great with jeans, skirt, literally anything. I still love having shirts in my wardrobes which have sleeves on because I find sometimes in summer where everything has no sleeves, already short sleeves and sometimes you just want to cover up. So it's nice to have that option because this is really, really thin. So really good to be able to wear out in the daytime and then out in the evening as well. Obviously leopard print, very in, seems to be everywhere at the moment. So this is a really, really nice leopard print. Um, but this is, it's called the animal print tie sleeve box top. <laughs> Um, I got it in a size 14 and it was 14 pounds. So for a top like this, I think that is really, really good value. The quality is really good as well. Right, let's pretend I'm not wearing red lipstick with this top because it looks a little bit. But anyway, so this is the button front vest. Um, I got this in a size 14, it's only nine pounds. So this is just a really nice kind of thin, summery, best top, has buttons down the front. Um, size wise, I'd say it's pretty accurate. The only thing is this is more of a my kind of body thing where it's very loose around here for me, but then when it gets down to my bum, it's like it won't go down any further, if that makes sense. So it's kind of bunched up a little bit up here, but I, I'm used to that by now. This would look really nice tucked into jeans with like a nice belt, um, again, very much a daytime to evening top. My only criticism, well firstly actually I like the fact that it's buttoned down but they're faux buttons so you're not going to get any gaping for any big boobed girls but my only criticism is basically the back of these buttons are white so the buttons are quite cheap um, and they're sewn on really loosely so they're kind of the buttons are kind of sagging down so you can see the white behind the buttons 
um, so you can tell that the buttons are quite cheap. That is my only criticism, that's just me kind of looking at it really closely. Yeah, apart from that, I always struggle with these kind of tops anyway just because of my boobs, but this isn't too bad, I've got a little bit of bunching in the corners there. Goes down at the back. God, I'm pasty, I need to put some tan on. Um, yeah, really nice. Nine pounds as well. So this is the kind of thing, if this were to be in Topshop, it'd be about 20 quid. So head down to Matalan if you want one of these. Right, so I bought this top purely for the print because I thought it was awesome. So it's just a little button up shirt. It's a kind of white with pink pinstripes, but it's got these little cactuses on it. I thought it was really cute. Um, it's called the Cactus Tie Front Shirt. I got it in a 14 and it's 14 pounds. It's nice and roomy actually. So there's quite a lot of room here because it's kind of tied up, which is nice. Nice and roomy on the boobs. A little bit of gay pitch issue, but a lot of you girls have let me know that you've been sewing those bits up. So that's a good tip. So I could just sew that up, I guess, and then I wouldn't have a gaping issue. It's very, very slightly see-through because it's a, I don't know what you'd call this material. It's like a really thin kind of cottony. So amazing for summer, it's gonna be really nice and cool, but it's just very slightly see-through. I am wearing it with a dark gray bra. So maybe not the best color, but it's not too noticeable. Yeah, I thought that was really adorable. It's really nice and comfy. I just think the pattern's just really cute. Again, would look great with denim shorts, jeans, literally whatever. You can even button it up to the top if you want a bit more of a sort of preppy look as well. Or even if you're at work and you wanna kind of button that up, you could button it up and just wear it with a really nice necklace over the top. I love it, I just like the cactuses. Size-wise, I'd say, yeah, it's, it's pretty good size-wise, what I would expect. Um, and 14 pounds for a button-up shirt. It's not, not expensive, really, is it? Right, last but not least, um, another top. Ignore my strap marks from my shoulder boulder holders. Right, so, if you guys have seen any of my latest kind of hauls, you'll know that I am literally obsessed with off the shoulder stuff. I think it is so, so cute for summer. Tips for bras for people with bigger boobs. Um, my go-tos are the Wonder Bra strapless bra. Um, I'll leave a link to it below anyway in the description. As with all of the stuff that I got today, I'm gonna leave um, links in the description as well. But right now I'm actually just wearing my normal kind of plain t-shirt bra and I've literally just put the straps um, under the kind of sleeve bits here. And for me that holds me in fine. So, I mean, might be worth a try. The Wonder Bra bras aren't cheap, but they are definitely worth it. Yeah, right, so first thing, I'm loving the colour on this. The buttons are tortoiseshell buttons, so really nice. It's called the Button Front Bardo Top. I believe these came in other colours as well, but I think I just saw the green and was like, yes. So this is in a 14. It was £12.50. All the other off the shoulder tops I have at the moment are cropped, so I was really chuffed to find a long one. It's all right on top. Maybe I would have needed a 16. It's quite long, but my problem is, again, with the butt. It's kind of hitting the top of my butt, and with a 14, it's like this bit's too tight, and then it kind of bunches up. I think lengthwise, Maybe it's just me, but I think something like that kind of length would have been a lot nicer. Just taking it up, you know, a couple of inches. For me, I think that's just more flattering. Yeah, so for petite girls, I think this is probably going to come up a little too long, maybe. It is quite long. I mean, again, I'm five foot seven, so I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm particularly tall, but I'm not short, but it is coming up quite long on me. Again, Matalan doing this right, they've got the kind of faux buttons, so you're not gonna get any gapage whatsoever. It's all stitched up, which I friggin' love. So if anyone who's got bigger boobs, doesn't like the whole gapage issue, you've sorted, go to Matalan. They just stitch everything up for you, it's great. 
yeah, price wise I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think this one I would have needed a size bigger, I think. I think it would just look, it would sit a bit better on me if I got a 16. But apart from that, as an overall, I think the sizing in Matalan is pretty spot on. I've been doing so many Primark hauls recently that I was kind of forgetting what size I actually normally wear because in Primark I seem to be an 18 to 20 now. So yeah, it's nice. These clothes come up how I would have expected them to size wise. Um, so I think the spot, the sizing spot on, the quality is really good as well. I haven't had anything that I thought was bad quality. I think the pricing is good. Everything comes on hangers as well, which I thought was really weird. I've never had that from an online order. The packaging is kind of excessive, but it came quickly. I can't remember if I paid for shipping actually. So bearing in mind, I did spend quite a lot on that shop, but the shipping was free. I'm not sure exactly what the rules are. I think if you spend over amount, a certain amount, the standard shipping's free. So I didn't pay for the shipping. It came pretty quick for standard shipping anyway. Yeah, overall, for my first proper kind of Matalan shop, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, as I said, all links will be in the description box. So if you want anything, just check it out. I'll leave it all in there. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe so you get updated when I next post a video, which is three times a week. But until next time, I will see you guys later.